hello and welcome back to Hoff Bergman. Right, so I have just been doing probably about half an hour's worth of gameplay and yeah, I forgot to press the record button. So that was fun. Uh, <laughs> so what I was actually doing, uh, basically I sold the baler, the square baler that I had, the Deutsch 4, and I purchased a new baler with, it's just up here, with the Quadro pro baler on the back so it actually stacks in force and I actually bailed off the whole of this field and the whole of that field so yeah and there's still some stacks I did pick up the ones in this by auto load but just because of the fact that I was trying to make things a little bit quicker um, and as you can see the stacks of four are still sitting in the field so yeah sorry about that I completely messed up started recording I was talking for half an hour and then realized that I wasn't recording as you do every now and again these things happen, I guess. Uh, but yeah, and also what I did in between this episode and the last one was I started picking up some of the uh, stuff from around. So I've got a lot of the cheese from out where we were making uh, the cheese in the cheese little factory or the production area for cheese in there. So I picked up the bits and bobs that I had. There was eight of each. Uh, I've set it going again. So I, I did this anyway in between the episodes. So I've set this going again, this is a full vat's worth, um, and this one as well for the goat's cheese. So I've parked this back in here, and we're just going to wait for it to go through. And I also picked up the four remaining boxes of eggs, and, and that was all I needed to fill up. So I'm now full on eggs, as you can see, which looks pretty cool. Um, I've got two rows here, two shelving rows, um, that you can have goat's cheese, so we're halfway through. Basically... I think this is like two vats worth of goat cheese and we've got th uh, four over here of uh, the normal cheese, so cow, cow cheese. So there is a, a bit more room for the cow cheese. Milk we're full up on. M the meat packs we are catching up with because of the fact that I edited the meat packs. So yeah, that kind of put me behind a bit. But Mr. Butcher Man that we're going to go down to in a second, he's got still, I think he's got a bit to go through and hopefully we'll have some suckling pigs as well to bring back so we're doing well with this we really are um, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on the cheese but what I want to quickly do first is I'm gonna sell the chickens and the ducks as you can see this is what I did the reason I was doing the bales and I did mention this but obviously I wasn't recording is because this was quite low and I have actually just made 84 bales that's how many I got from the two fields it was pretty good and I was down to 20 something in this storage area so I um, I can get up to 90 so I was definitely down I thought instead of putting the straw to make compost which was my original plan um, I've decided yeah just to stock up a bit more on the straw and it's a shame really because I bought the class and I've had to park it away but this map's pretty good for stuff like that because we are making quite a bit of cash um, at some point I do want to do some slurry spreading now we've got a better setup over here as you can see in the last episode we definitely I think we've made it a bit more productive now we're bringing the slurry over from the other yards um, and now we've got 71,000 we should probably get that on the ground and we will get some mowing done at some point I do need to make TMR for the cows up there I have checked them as well but I'll quickly just go over so I can show you I'm hoping that yeah this is a good spot so I have run out of TMR the cows do need some I've put two bales of hay in here just because I was near the hay at the time. But we do need to make some TMR. So I'm probably going to do that as well in this episode. Um, got a bit more milk sitting in here. And as you can tell, the cows are pretty good. We're just waiting on these six to grow up so we can move over these two. Uh, and the aim is to get the ten that have got the crosses on, so the carving ones. We want them to basically just be now 30 full cows that aren't carving so I am really well fed up with just seeing that message pop up so I decided that if I can get it 30 in here there's no need to have any calves anymore because we're at the maximum and I think that's uh, pretty good going so yeah let's run over quickly to the chickens and we'll get this sorted I am probably going to use the computer for this because instead of leasing out a animal trailer I think it just makes more sense to, to use that option but there is no need anymore for the chickens, which is something I'm chuffed about because I do find the chickens to be 
well, they're just not productive. They just don't give me enough money for the effort that I have to put in. So, yeah. It's nice to have ducks and hear the different sounds, but I think it just makes more sense to get rid. And we can move on to the other things. So, if we go over here and we want the chicken coop and we want to sell the 175 that I've got, which is a hell of a lot. So I'm hoping to get maybe a couple of thousand. I don't know how many it is. It's, I know it's not much money for these. Some of that is pretty good, though. 25, 50. They are dear chickens. Right, so as you can see, we should be getting 5,750. We're going to lose 2,300 for the fee, but I don't mind that. We are doing pretty well for money. So if we sell all them, shut the door on the way out, you can now see that this is yeah an empty area. So let's close that. Don't need that anymore. Close this, but first turn the light off. Because I think we are definitely done with the chicks and the chickens. And uh, we'll shut this as well. And that's the end of that. So we will be moving on to probably bread at some point as well. I do want to be go going over to the breeding pig area because I want to make pig food in bulk and bring it back down here maybe in a trailer for these pigs which are going to be for the butchers like the other ones um, we can sell the ones at the breeding pigs place to the butchers or we can stay, can take them straight to the abattoir um, it really doesn't matter but they are good for meat, they really are so look at this again really strange how this works bit of a bug going on there I have to say so let's open up and we're going to bring in a bit of lag going on there. Yeah, we're going to bring in the attachment. I did leave it somewhere. I'm sure I did. There you go. So if we just jump into the class, we can grab this on the rear. And we can go and take him. Now, I know Mr. Meatman, he has got... Well, he's probably got some meat packs ready for me and I think he might also have a couple of suckling pigs for me to bring back but I'm going to bring them back in definitely going to bring them back in the uh, meat wagon as I call it or the van, the butcher's van he's a pretty sound guy and he doesn't, you know, he doesn't mind me borrowing his uh, van I have borrowed it quite a few times now so if he did then obviously he probably would have said something by now so well, let's go and load up these tiny little things. We got one that was 100%. Sorry, mate. You're now going to be a suckling pig. This is like a, a vegetarian and a vegan's nightmare. So what I'll quickly just do is I'll load these up. And then I'll cut back in when we're on our travels. Down to the butchers. Right, so there we go. In the back. Happy. We'll just pull out. Now, as always, try and be careful with these because they do rock about and it doesn't look the best when they start flying about. I mean, they might enjoy it. Who knows? Bit of a ride out. So I'm just going to stop here and I just want to quickly say I want to thank everyone that's a channel sponsor. I really do appreciate all the support you give me for my channel. Um, every single bit like this from YouTube I do put back into the channel because I am trying to improve and expand uh, and just make better content overall. So I really do appreciate everyone that supports the channel. It means the world to me. So thank you very much. And yeah, I keep checking and adding names to the list all the time. So again, big thank you to every single one of you. There we go. Back in and off we go. So I probably should... Oh, I was going to say lift that up, but it is lifted up. It's a bit of a, a weird one, that is. So I've got three fields now that are empty, apart from that last bit of straw that I need to pick up. And I have been thinking about what to do. So I don't know if I'm going to grow anymore. I don't know if I'm going to grow any different types of crop. Probably will do a bit. I am going to... I have decided that I am going to play this 
map all the way up to the start of FS22. So we're not going to move over to different series. This this will always be in place now. There's just so much to do on Hoff Bergman. And the more I play it, just like the first time I played it, it's the more I enjoy it. I really do think this is an excellent map. And I also can't wait to see what Farmer Andy is going to do when he brings it over to FS22, which I am 90% certain he will. He did it with from FS15, FS17 and also then FS19. So I don't think there's going to be any reason why he wouldn't, unless he wants to start a brand new map. Which again, I would be uh, very welcome to. I think at the end of the day, whatever happens, it'll be uh, excellent for the players. Because he always sets the standard. Let's be honest, I don't, if you've played Sandy Bay, if you played Chanting Valley, the carves on their maps come from this. And also if you've played West Texas, which is one of the series I'm playing now, there's meat packs in there and even the building looks exactly like this which is where it came from from this uh, yeah from this map so looks like he's got a few meat packs here so if we just grab some of these before we drop off the pigs at the back we'll check how much he's got left as well to process I imagine he's got quite a bit in fact he might have a little bit now because these are 250 litres now so it might look more than what it actually is Whoop. throw them in, they're all vacuum packed as I call it anyway so not going to do any damage is it there we go, so we'll leave that one because that's 60 litres in we'll just have a quick check so he's got 440 left so he is probably getting close to wanting some more and luckily we've got four suckling pigs here ready to go so if we just place these in try not to throw them I can bring them back I think this is going to be the hardest thing to uh, fill up on and the main reason for that is the suckling pigs uh, in the farrowing pen yeah they're not the easiest thing to do because of the fact we're having a little bit of issue there. There we go. So if we just jump in, set that like that, and put the straps on. We'll park that there. And then we just want to back this up a little bit just to make, again, things a bit easier. Now, this will turn into one. The problem is every time I put a little one in, so it changes to that, but every time I put a little one in, it doesn't usually send a second one because it's obviously still filling up the amount, as you can see. Um, and that's the issue, but we have got one full one there, which will hopefully mean that we're on to a second one. And I think we can hold 28 in the storage area, so that's how many we need to make. Which is going to be difficult. So we've only just delivered 10. 10. That's 10 litres, I assume. But we'll just put this one in, and you can see that it's now 2. So, yeah. We'll definitely have 2 more. Um, probably need to think about bringing some meat back for this man. Um, and I think that'll do. So if we take, we'll drive this back, we'll just tell it to park it one of the parking points, it doesn't really matter. So if we go to park and P1, that'll do. And then what I'll do is I'll actually drive the meat back because I just want to take a little bit of a detour over to the biogas area. And the reason for that is I have spent a bit of money and you've probably noticed that my money has gone down. It's obviously gone down a little bit because of the fact that I um, purchased the well the new baler and the attachment for the baler to stack the four bales. Uh, but what I also did was I bought a new toy to make things a lot easier up at the biogas area, and it has actually worked a treat. So previously I had the conveyor belts. Um, and I was leasing them out, so it kind of worked out about a thousand, fifteen hundred, something like that, in-game day, 
to lease them out. So what I decided to do, which I thought was a much better idea, and it actually turned out to be a cracking idea, was buy this JCB wheel loader with a massive bucket that I haven't modified. It is a mod itself, but the bucket holds 12,000. And it's a beast. And I think with the amount of silver we've got, it just makes sense. So what I did before I started this episode, before I started the 30 minutes that I didn't record, <laughs> was I filled this up, set it going, and I did actually come over here and, spoke, and, yeah, and speak about it. But obviously I didn't record that. So I'm doing it again. But you can see, going forward, this is going to be a better idea. Um, and it means that we can get through this pile a bit quicker. Because we have got a shed ton still in here. If we just bring up the F1 menu, you can see that I'm at half a million. Half a million litres. And what I am going to do as well, I've decided when we keep processing through this massive amount, I am going to buy the trailer, so the uh, gas trailer, buy a gas one. Uh, I'm going to store it here, so when we sell to the probably the fuel station we do get some good money because it is the best way to do it and we're doing well on this map we can have pieces of equipment like that because of the fact we seem to make a shed ton and everything that's uh, worth doing don't get me wrong there is some things that uh, turn over a small amount of income but there's also things like the grain drying and well I think most things in particular um, especially on the animal sides with the cows and the meat they do seem to give you a, a good bit of cash. So let's open up this. I am also going to open up both sides of this because it sometimes can be a bit tricky. And then we'll open the door up. And we'll start putting these in. Alright, so. I think I've just done this little bug thing that happens every now and again, which is where if I pick one of the, up these up on the map, I should always throw it. Yes, I'm lucky. Because if you don't, sometimes it'll kind of like take it from you without you throwing it into the spot. And then by doing that, it still thinks you've got something in your hands, which means you can't jump, you can't pick anything else up, you can't interact with things. It's uh, a proper pain. The only way I've found to sort that out is just obviously boot out the game and boot back in again can I get that last one yep I can get that one so we are hopefully going to fill up this bit or close to so then we've just got this last rack to go and a lot of cheese and uh, yeah suckling pigs which isn't too bad really we are doing well I mean, if I sold all this all this stuff that I've got stored in here, it'd probably be some good money. So we need two more for that, and then we obviously need quite a bit over here. But overall, that's pretty good going. So we'll shut that up, just have a quick check on the milk, it's probably not done much. Just have a quick check on the cheese. Still working through that first loaf. Loaves, I think loaf, what are we about? Loaves. And then, let's send this back there we go and then I think I might make a bit of TMR and I also might look maybe at the uh, vegetable patch maybe the breeding pigs just to get an idea of what we need to do the amount of money we're going to need or we could even have a look at maybe doing some of the bread I have got a list in front of me I need to do a bit of butter still um, honey as well, we haven't done any honey I have done that on a previous series the first series I played on this map um, I need to do some bread uh, I haven't done solid fertiliser as well so we want to do that at some point, vegetables, breeding pigs which I've said, apple juice and wine, that might be a good shout so let's send that back to the butchers happy days Right, so I've had an idea. We're going to be doing this field. It's now mowed, um, and I do want to spread some slurry. So this is what's made me think, let's get this sorted, let's get this mowed. So I've set a course plate with a scanner, because we didn't have this field scanned at all. So that's going around doing its thing. Um, and I've just set off the mower. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go around picking it up with the forage wagon that we bought. So we can actually get some use out of that. And then by doing that, we can also put it into the pit and make a bit of compost 
that is the plan. So we still get a bit of compost like I originally planned to do with the straw, but we're now going to do it from grass. And we're actually going to get use out of this beast, this 9500 Cargos class forage wagon. Now unfortunately, when I set it going at the start, I didn't actually use the feature to drop in a row. So we're probably going to have to try and uh, yeah, pick this up in three and then carry on in that middle bit. I did notice quite quick but by that time I'd already done a bit so not ideal. But I think if we just move our way back we can get this done properly. Hey? I'm hoping they don't clash as well. Uh, the guy scanning and the guy mowing. Ideally, they won't. And if I've got enough time left as well, I will do some spreading with the slurry. Which is what I want to do. I'm going to fertilise it, and as you can see from the bottom left in the map, fertiliser is, well, it's non-existent. There basically isn't any. Which in itself is a bit, well... I don't think I've ever seen fertiliser in a field that low before, but it's just something that I didn't do much of because of the fact I'm not playing without seasons. And speaking about seasons as well, something pretty cool. Um, in one of my episodes on Bessie Beneath, I mentioned about the fact that I think, realistically, that um, it doesn't matter if you give straw to uh, your animals, to your cows, that that shouldn't stop you making slurry. But the way seasons works is it just gives you manure if you give straw. Um, and then you don't have any slurry but realistically that's not the case because you're always going to give your cows or your animals bedding which is where the manure is uh, when they muck out they clean it out and that's your pile of manure uh, but they still got slurry so if you've got a lot of milkers and you take them into the parlour usually the parlour, the entrance maybe some of the sheds will have slats and you muck out um, a different way you start like using the, the way I've always known it is you get a bobcat with a scraper on and you scrape out the, the you know the muck that they've left behind um, and it goes into the slurry pit so you always have slurry and manure it doesn't matter now it's the one thing that I've not liked about seasons even though, even though seasons is obviously excellent and it's hard to play without I think this is the first time I've played without seasons well since it came out really and this is definitely the first time um, and that's obviously for the reasons of all the production features it can cause a few issues so it just makes sense to do that so, on the LSFM website, so where you download this mod, there's an actual, it's a, a file, but it looks like a mod, so you can go on there and look for mods, and it's it's in the same place as you'd download any mod from that website. Um, and it's a, a, f a file that you need to modify the Seasons mod, and what it does is it gives you the option on every playthrough you've got that Seasons activated, so that mod, um, then basically you can have straw... Um, to get manure but you can also at the same time if you're giving straw get slurry so every now playthrough with seasons I'm playing will have both slurry and manure and I think that's pretty cool it's the small things like that that yeah tick boxes for me a bit like that baler that I've got now that could stack them for which makes things better when it comes to uh, manually loading and unloading bales even though I've had a few little problems with that, in all honesty, the when it's stacking in the four, I do find that the bottom bale as you drop it seems to always kind of like move a little bit, so it's not centre, which isn't uh, yeah in that good. Well, I'll tell you one thing, that filled up a lot quicker than what I expected. This is already fifty-three thousand liters of grass. I have to say, compost is such a good earner on this; it really is. The amount of money you get is a loose bulk, and you can just pick it up with a conveyor belt or an auger like I did previously. It really does just make sense to do this. So I think, okay, that's what I need. Maybe, let's just have a look here. Left control and I. That's a bit of a strange one. There we go. So as you can see, it is accepting this so we just gotta let it do its thing we don't have to compact it which is pretty good we're just gonna have to fill it up and then move forward I do like as well how it's uh, got quite a 
high tip. There we go. So we're already plenty in there. 50,000 litres. Look how far. Yeah, look how far the guy's gone that's mowing. And the guy who was. Well, it looks like they both are meeting each other. So let's quickly just sort that out. No, 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 no. What's going on? How have I missed this? There we go. I knew this would happen eventually. Uh, what are you doing? Calm down. So we have got a little bit, but because I haven't got narrow tyres, it's going to do damage, so I'm going to wait till it's mowed. So I'm just going to park this over here. And we'll get back to this. There we go. So one row filled this whole thing up. So I might actually fill up both pits at this rate. It's definitely looking that way. It is actually looking like a bigger job than I originally thought, because these fields give off a serious amount of grass and straw. I don't know if that's because I'm playing without seasons. I really can't remember, but the yield seems to be a lot higher. And this is a field that's got no fertilizer and no liming. He's just starting his up and down rows as well. So he's got plenty left to do. So I probably will do a time lapse at some point of me um, working my way through this, but not just yet. I'll definitely do another load. And I'll see whereabouts we're at. I'm hoping to get around at least one more time before I have to go back in. It would be nice to finish closer to the pit. Even though we're not that far away. The good thing about this field is it's right next to that pit. So there isn't much travelling involved. Let's just get rid of the F1 menu. Now I have got the most beefy tractor to do this because going uphill with a full trail like this, even this slight little incline like this, can it? slows down quite a bit so I thought let's get the big tractor out I might at some point as well upgrade one of these tractors just because of the fact I am rolling in it and uh, probably going to be rolling in it a little bit more after we sell this compost so why not treat yourself that's another bonus with playing on this map it does give, give us the option of trying out a lot more equi equipment quicker on and with me planning on playing this series now all the way up till FS22 I think we can probably try out a lot of the mods that are coming out in between now and FS22 as well, so that's another bonus. It's a shame he's missing bits over there. It's a bit of a weird shaped field as well, I've always thought that. Definitely strange shape. Right, with me being at around 92%, I may as well lift this up and just go drop it off. There we go, just about made that without hitting that tree. Um, what I will be doing as well in between this episode and the next, I will plan out properly moving on to something new. Probably the breeding pigs, maybe. Bit of bread. One of the things we haven't done in a while, or I haven't done at all, will be bringing that into one of the episodes soon just because I want to try things out and see how profitable everything turns out to be and the only way we're going to do that is if we try it all so there will be a max height to this which I think I've hit there so that's you can see that it's, uh, it's good because you don't have to compact it and it will like happily just fill up for you already so I do like that such a massive amount in there already we're probably going to need to use the truck and, and lease out a mammoth trailer again to uh, get rid of this there is one trailer that I showed when we were doing the 
the uh, dry grain. We can probably use that. I think that was about 100,000. So why not buy it and actually have it and add it to the uh, one that I've already got. Right, so I think now's a perfect time for me to stick in a bit of a time lapse of him mowing away and me picking up what he's mowing and putting into the pit. So enjoy the time lapse and I'll cut back in when it's all done. So there we go, that went pretty well. And we have a shed ton. This pit I would classify is pretty much full. The last little bit at the end. So we haven't had to go to a second one, which is good. But let's just have a quick look at exactly how much we've got in here. 194,000 litres, which is gonna all turn to compost. So all we need to do now is blanket it up. There we go. Happy days, put this board on, job done. Woza. Didn't expect that. That was strange. Never put a wooden plank by that or else it'll just send it flying. So see if I can actually maneuver this out. I might have to just give my tractor a bit of a nudge here saying come on let me help. Slowly does it. Bit confined in it. There we go. We did it. In the end, the, the turning on this tractor anyway is horrendous. It's the wide tyres, it must be. I'm going to put it back where it was because I did like it. Take me about what six point turn with this tractor, probably. There we go. Reverse back in, no problem at all. Nothing happened.
job done. Put this one back, and I'm sure you know what's coming next. This is now going to be the thumbnail. I think it looks pretty good. Why not? Got quite a bit of class equipment here. Bit of Dutch Far, bit of class, Cavernaland. Definitely some nice expensive gear. So on that note, I am going to leave the video there. I think we've definitely done quite a bit. Got some compost going. That's going to make us quite a bit of money as well. Next episode, I'm definitely going to be doing the slurry because if we just quickly go into precision farming, you can see that field 16, I did miss a tiny bit. I did do this bit up here, but I missed that. So we'll sort that out. And somehow I've got a bale here. I don't know where this bale came from. But I keep looking at it thinking, what is that bale? So we'll also figure that out, get that moved. But yeah, I am going to leave the video there, so really do appreciate you all watching. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That really does help my channel out. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.